Welcome to Easy Elite English Special Competitive Exam Mathematics. Now, if you are given this question and without using paper and pencil, you are given only two seconds to solve this. The first is X, the second is Y, and the third is Z. And the square root, then again square root. But note that there is a plus sign. Uh, between the numbers, the plus sign is there. And x, y, z are given to be natural numbers. Then find x plus y plus z. And you are given time only 2 seconds. How can you do this? And if you cannot do it in 2 seconds, then watch this video. For this is very easy if you know the trick. Now let us see how to do this. In a tries. Now we break each of the numbers into two consecutive factors, two consecutive integer factors, and take the larger number. Now we are taking the larger number because there is plus sign. If it is minus sign, then you would be taking the smaller number. If it is minus sign, you would take the smaller number, and if it is plus sign, you would take the uh, larger number. So 12 is 3 into 4, take the larger number 4 because it is plus sign. For minus sign, you will take the smaller number. 20 equal to 4 into 5, take the larger number 5. 30 equal to 5 into 6, so take 6. So in each case, break it into two consecutive number factors and take the larger number for plus sign. And now you can say x is 4 y is 5, z is 6, so you get 4 plus 5 plus 6 or 50. Now we will see the logic behind breaking them into two consecutive numbers and taking the larger number for plus sign and smaller number for minus sign. On squaring, what do we get? See, on the left hand side, we have squared it, the first one. So x square, one of the 12 will come out and the others will be inside. But because this is infinite, so absolutely you don't get, uh, the number remains the same. Don't think that out of four, one has come out, you will remain three. No, this is an infinite. So you get x squared equal to 12, plus the remaining is x. And when you factorize by using the breaking the middle term, you get x equal to four. The minus three, we reject it, because it's not a natural number. Similarly, y squared, break it into, uh, uh, square it and then break it into uh, factors by using middle term. You'll get 4 and 5, but minus 4 is not a natural number. We take 5. Similarly for z. So if it is plus sign, you take the larger of the two consecutive number factors. And if it is minus sign, you take the smaller one. So this is the trick for doing this sum. 12 broken into 3 into 4. The larger number 4 is taken if the sign is plus. And the smaller number will be taken if the sign is minus. Similarly, 20 is 4 into 5. We take the larger number because the sign is plus. 30 is 5 into 6. We take the larger number because the sign is plus. And then now we can easily add and find x plus y plus z. We shall be back with more interesting things and useful things. Thanks. Keep watching. Like and share our videos and subscribe to the channel Easy Elite English. Till we meet again, thank you and goodbye.